There's a war going on out there somewhere And Andre isn't here There's a war going on out there somewhere And Andre isn't here Natasha! Natasha's godmother's strict yet kind. Natasha's godmother's strict yet kind. Mario's old school, Sonia's good. Natasha's young and Andre is a team. And Belaga's just for fun! Belaga's just for fun! Belaga's fun, Belaga's great, Mary is plain. Dolokhan is fierce, Belaga is a slut, and it's all as hot. Mario's old school, Sonia's good. Natasha's young and Madame Chambord's dresses, 
dresses will buy what we can afford. Then dinner and a game of Boston. Then you'll read to me while I knit. How wonderful to have you here instead of these gossips and crybabies. You'll take us where we must go, get us a bit and scold us a bit. Her goddaughter, her favorite Natasha, she will touch you on the cheek. Well, now we'll talk. I congratulate you and Andre, you've hooked a fine fellow. One of the finest matches in all of Russia. I am glad and relieved he'll be the family saving grace. I blush happily that his father, Prince Volkonsky, much dislikes his son's marrying me. Oh, the fellow's crotchety. Of course, Prince Andre's not a child, but it's not nice to enter a family against a father's will. One wants to do it peacefully and lovingly, but you're a clever girl. Just be kind to Andre's sister, and when the sister loves you, so will the father, and all will be well. and moaning will miss the curtain burning lips pressed to mine tell me what just happened I'm trembling so frightening 
Andre. But I love you. Of that there is no doubt. How else could all of this have happened? How else could we have kissed? It means that I have loved you from the first. It means that you are kind, noble, and splendid, and I could not help loving you. I will love you and at Forget everything and forgive me, but I can't be Andre's wife. And when Andre comes home, he will challenge Anatole to a duel and get himself killed, and all will be well. Anatole, come, Anatole. Sir, Prince Anatole is in the drawing room with the Countess. Ah, Pierre, sweet husband, you don't know what a plight our Anatole has had. Be quiet. I will not greet you. At this moment, you are more repulsive to me than ever. Anatole, come Anatole, Anatole must speak to you. Anatole followed with his usual taunty step, but his face betrayed anxiety. Pierre closed the door and addressed Anatole without looking at him. Promised Countess Rostova to marry her and we're about to elope, is that so? Mon cher, I don't consider myself bound to answer questions put to me in that tone. My face already pale becomes distorted by fury. I seize you by the collar with my big, big hands. And I shake you from side to side until your face shows a sufficient degree of terror. When I tell you I must talk to you, Come now, this is stupid. What, what, don't, don't. You're a scoundrel and a blackguard. And I don't know what deprives me of the pleasure of smashing your head in with this. 